Let's see. Okay. S of T. Yes. S of T equals sine pi T over 2. So it says to find the velocity, um, which I did, and I found, and I got that correct, V of T equals cosine pi T over 2 pi t over times two pi times over 2. Pi over 2, right. And then uh, what is the velocity after one second? And I got zero. And I got that correct. Yes, because uh, cosine pi over t is zero, so this is zero. Yes. Right. Where I'm struggling is when is the particle at rest? Use the parameter n as needed to represent any integer. Right. So when we set this equal to zero, of course, this is a constant. It goes away. So cosine pi t over 2 is set equal to zero. When we look at the unit circle, cosine is um, zero here and here. So pi t over two equals pi over two plus two pi n or k, we normally use k. Mm -hmm. And pi over t over two equals three pi over two plus two pi n. So what does the two pi n mean? is the period of cosine. So in other words, to land here, we have pi over 2 when n is 0. But we also have pi over 2 plus 1 complete rotation. And then pi over 2 plus 2 complete rotations. Or pi over 2 minus 1 rotation. Or pi over 2 minus 2 rotations. So that's why this n can be anything from 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and so on and so forth. But we have to solve for t. So this is not done. So I have to divide or if you want, multiply everything by 2 over pi. pi over, so pi over 2 times 2 over pi will be 1. Pi over 2 times 2 over pi will be 1. 2 pi, the pi will go away, so this will be plus 4n. For now. The same thing with the second option. So t equals 3 plus 4n. Because I'll multiply by 2 over pi as well. OK? So now read the question one more time to see what they want here. So when is the particle of rest use the parameter n as necessary to represent any integer? OK. And then it just says t equals the So these are the two options when the particle is at rest, because there are infinitely many, not just one. Okay. Thank you. So now this is like one of those like 17 part questions. I know. <laughs> Next one. So uh, the ne and I've gotten like some right, some wrong. So. Uh, the next one that I'm struggling with is, when is the particle moving in a positive direction for the interval 0 to 6? OK. Because remember, we need to have the acceleration as well. OK. Yes. So here's what we do next. N, as I mentioned, can be these. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with n equals 0. With n equals 0, I have 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. With n equals 1, 4 plus 1, 5. 4 plus 3 is 7, out. It's right here. 
7 is here. So I cannot put it in. So I got a 5 and I got a 7. Now when n equals 2, 4 plus 1, out. So I have to stop. But I also have to try the negative 1. When n is negative 1, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. It's here. Not possible. With negative 1 is negative 4 plus 3 is here. Not possible. So I found all points. Is that clear so far? But, so, but can it, it can't be 6, though, either. But it doesn't matter. I have to study on the given interval. Okay. So these are the points where it's zero. That's how we determine these t's when v was zero. v is zero. If I don't have the zeros, I cannot study the sign. Mm -hmm. So the zeros were when t is 1 plus 4n or 3 plus 4n. But I have to use the n because I'm specifically told between 0 and 6. So I have to find the points that are between 0 and 6 where v is 0. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, now here's my v. In this V, I have to plug in 0, 2, 4, and 5.5 to find the sign. So with the graphing calculator, I don't have to plug in pi over 2 because that will not change the sign. So cosine pi x over 2. So now I want 0. Positive. I want 2. Negative. I want 4, positive, and I want 5.5, negative. So make sure that you are in gradient mode. Okay, so therefore I know positive direction, negative direction, positive direction, negative direction. Between 0 and 1, union 3 and 5, positive. And you have to use parentheses. Do not use brackets. So positive direction 0 to 1, 3 to 5. And they may ask you to use the union symbol. I don't know. If they ask negative direction, you have to put 1 to 3, union 5 to 6. Is that okay? Yes. Perfect. Sorry, I was just typing it in. It's taking forever. Next question or next part. So now the next part that I was having issues with are to find the acceleration. Um, and so I had negative sine pi, pi t over 2 times pi over 2. But there is a pi over 2 already. Cosine prime, negative sine, times the inner function prime, another pi over 2. So I have to have pi squared over 4. Pi
Is it clear why? We already had a pi over 2 initially. When I differentiate cosine, I have negative sine pi t over 2 times the inner function prime, which is pi over 2. So that's how I end up with p, pi squared over 4 with minus in front. Is that OK? Yes. I'm just, it's not letting me type anything in. I typed it, and then I hit it, submit, and what I typed went away. So I'm trying to type it again. And the next bar. So now it wants a of t, I believe, once it loads. That's that's it. Yes. And then. After a of t. Sorry, uh, a of one. Oh. A of one. Okay, a of one. So pi over two is positive one. Right. So this is a negative pi squared over 4. Do they want an approximation or not? Um, what did it say? It doesn't say to use an approximation. If it doesn't, I would enter it like this. Like this. And then it wants the um, slowing down, the, speeding up. Yeah, it also has a graph, and I got the first graph wrong, and now it's not letting me change the graph. So, so, so what is the next step then? Uh, the speeding up and slowing down. Okay, so we have to find a a of t equal to zero. So when sine pi t over two is zero. On the unit circle, sine is 0 here and here. So then pi t over 2 equals 0 plus 2 pi n, or pi plus 2 pi n. So I have to, again, multiply by 2 over pi. So this is 0 and 4n. So this is t. This is 2 plus 4n. And I'm assuming they want the same thing on 0, 6. It's not specifying, but I would assume. Yeah. When n is 0, we have 0. And we have 2. When n is 1, we have 4 and 6. When n is negative 1, not good. When n is 2, too much. Now, I will plug in this function in the graphing calculator and study the sign when x is 1, t, when t is 1, when t is 3, when t is 5. OK, ready? So in y equals, I have negative pi squared times sine pi t over 2 
and I have to divide by 4. I don't have to. I don't need any, any of that other than the negative sine pi x over 2. But I entered it all. So the second function in red, I want 1. I want 3. I want 6. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, 5. So negative, positive, negative. Okay. So, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up. So speeding up between 0 and 1, 2 and 3, and 4 and 5. That's what I had previously, but it marked it wrong. Mom, how can we do a So speeding down, slowing down, slowing down between 0 and 1, 2 and 3, 4 and 5. Speeding up 1 and 2, but you have to put parentheses. If you put brackets, it's not mm -hmm. going to take it. Oh, it looks like I flipped them. I did the slowing down and the speeding up and the speeding up and the slowing down. Okay. So that would do it. Let me switch those real quick. Good. That's it with this one? Um, yep. Awesome. Next question. 